Hey guys, this is Grant. Um, I'm doing the product review of the Cave Creek Pet Palace. Uh, it's the first ever working model of the Pet Palace um, by Cave Creek. Myself and Rick with Cave Creek kind of work together to figure out the best solution for hammocking, camping, um, hammock camping with your pet. Um, I think this is probably the best way to do it. A lot of people have many other ways that work great. Um, up here in Minnesota, in the summer, lots of bugs, lots of stuff going around. My dog particularly likes to be looking out, seeing everything, and I don't feel like tying them up at night. Um, so this is the best way to keep them contained, keep the bugs off me, and in the winter, I just like to keep them underneath me, keep them warm. Um, it's just going to be the best option. Um, it's a fantastic product. Rick does a great job. Um, I'll show you close-ups of kind of everything and how it's all put together, um, how I'm using it, how I'm kind of stringing everything up. Um, like I said, this is the first time putting it up, so there'll be some tweaks and changes that'll be made. Um, but I think right now it's pretty much as close to perfect as it's going to get. Um, so I'll get some close-ups here. Um, it's about... Eh, 10 degrees out maybe in Minnesota today. Uh, snowing, one of our first big snowfalls, I think we may get four to eight inches, not really sure. Um, but it is just gorgeous out here. I'm out on a peninsula out on one of the lakes close to my house. Um, got the awesome Cape Creek Ponderosa tarp, um, covering up everything, keeping the snow off all the gear. Uh, it's gorgeous. So here we go, show you guys um, kind of everything about it and and put some information below the video when I'm done um, editing, post it on YouTube, put it on the handlock forms for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Alright guys, close ups here for you. So this is the Cave Creek Pet Palace. Basically a net system for a hammock that drapes across the ridge line all the way to the ground and has a tub flooring waterproof tub flooring um, works to keep the moisture from uh, coming underneath when you're hanging getting on your pet or your gear um, great solution it's about nine inches of tub on the bottom and that can be customized um, there are certain limitations but I can let Rick kind of tell you guys all about that if you're interested um, it's a fantastic design there are four tie outs on the bottom to keep things taut um, and everything kind of is like the perfect dimensions not too big on the bottom that when you're you know you have your tarp set up that any water is going to be driven from the edge of the tarp into the tub um, but not too not too narrow that you can't fit your dog and all your gear inside um, it's a great setup all right so the suspension um, there's a lot of different ways that rick has designed this to work um, with the suspension you, you put up a nice ridge line on it that you can fasten with any type of cord you like. Um, I have been using shock cord. Um, it works really nice because obviously it also is in contact with the hammock so when you lay in it you're going to be sagging a little bit. This keeps everything nice and taut. And as you can see it'll slide nice and good around the hammock when you pull it down. Slide it back and forth. Uh, it creates less stress for the netting. The netting material is not going to be the same as a tarp. It's not the same as your hammock material obviously. Um, so it's going to be a little more susceptible, so I like to use a lot of shock cord when fastening this up. Um, this is a great option when you're just hanging and you don't need a tarp. All you got to do is take the shock cord off, tighten up this um, adjustable opening that Rick added around the edge of the hammock, and you'll have no problems. It'll hang it up um, just fine. Uh, it won't create too much pressure on the hammock. works great. Um, that'll be the majority of the uses for me. Um, I don't need to put my tarp up all the time. Probably wouldn't even have put it up today for the review, but uh, as you can see, snowing pretty good. Uh, I brushed this off once, so there'll probably be another good layer on there if I wouldn't have. It's really well stitched, good material. Um, Rick and I talked about a material that wasn't going to be the most obnoxious thing when your dog's underneath you at night. Obviously, dogs like to move around a little bit. Um, kind of one of those things sweet having your dog with you um, when you're camping uh, love having them but sometimes it's obnoxious um, I found with the prototype of this one that the dog moving around on the bottom made a bunch of noise 
Um, Rick kind of had a solution to that. He talked to some vendors, figured out um, the best material to use for the bottom. Um, and it is much more quiet. It's not perfect, but it is the only material really that we can use that's going to be durable, waterproof, and keep that noise down of your dog moving underneath you. Um, I haven't had any issues with it so far. Fall asleep quickly, dog's moving around, it's no problem. All right, another great feature of this net system here is the way that the opening is designed. Um, what we got is a full U-shaped opening zipper. So when you don't have to worry about bugs, don't have to worry about things, want to kind of get some things set up, all you do is open it up, take it, flip it over the top, and you got a nice open way to hang, enjoy the view. Don't have to worry about if your dog is, you know, underneath you, you want to let him roam around like mine is. He's having fun in the snow. Um, just leave it open, no big deal. And you can close it real easily from inside the hammock, flip it down, zip it up. Works great. My number one favorite feature of this pet palace is the added tie outs on the outside of the door of the net. As you can see, Rick has made this custom Ponderosa tarp for me. Full coverage tarp with inside and outside wall tie outs. It's fantastic. Uh, made my own little system here, which will need some tweaking time to time. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it um, permanently. Um, what I did is I have a little bit of shock cord, a little bit of regular cord, and use a line lock so I can adjust the tension and keep the netting. I don't know if you guys can see very well. The netting is pulled out away from the hammock. So when you're laying in it, it's not going to be laying against your side, your elbows, have bugs biting you, all that type stuff. Um, um, Rick is very kind to kind of add on this feature. You guys can all ask for it. I think he's going to have it standard, at least on the door side. Um, one thing that I may be tweaking with mine is I may send it back and have him um, add them to the opposite side of the door so that it can be a full open layout. Um, going to create a lot of extra space. It keeps everything nice and taut. Um, it keeps this tub wall higher on this side. And I'd like to do the same as on the other side. I think it makes it it'll give you a little bit more leeway to not have to set it up perfectly, but still have a nice taut design. Um, has it on both sides, obviously. This is my head side. I lay head right. I know, I'm a little weird. Um, but I love having this away from my head. Um, don't have to worry about, like I said, bugs biting me. Uh, I think it's going to work great, especially when you do the tie outs on that side, um, on the outside of the tarp. I have mine pushed up, um, so it sags a little bit there, but I think that if I have it um, down in storm mode, I can get it so that I can tie out the outside walls and it'll pull it even a little bit more away, um, give me a little more space underneath. Um, so that's another great feature. As you can see, this thing is great. There's a lot of give. You're not going to rip anything. Dog's going to be moving inside there. There's no way to snag on anything. Um, it's great. The prototype I had, which was not even nearly as good as this one, worked fantastic for my 30 miler um, in September. Brooks, my dog, loved it. Um, I loved it more. So, one of my biggest questions when I started hammock camping, and I think of everything in terms of what can I do and what can I do with my dog. Um, anything I can't do with my dog, I don't really have much interest in, um, aside from a few big things, obviously. Um, but in terms of camping and being outdoors, there's nothing better than having your dog along. Um, so this solves all my issues that I had in thinking of hammock camping. Tent camping is one thing, you just have your tent, you bring your dog in there, no big deal. But I don't like sleeping on the ground, I don't like the thin mats, it's not comfortable. So when I did this hammock thing, I thought it was just going to be more of a leisure thing for me. And then I kind of thought of better ideas and ways that the dog could be in there with you other than being in the hammock. There's no way I can sleep like that. My dog has a giant thick coat. He's an Australian Shepherd. I'd be sweating my butt off um, in the summertime. So I kind of thought of this system. Um, there's a couple of guys in the forums that have similar ones like this, DIY stuff, or had guys kind of put something together for them that work well. 
Um, I kind of want to make it more robust, and Rick has a great skill set with Cave Creek. He does everything perfectly, all the stitching's great. Um, all of our vendors are fantastic from the MI forums. I just kind of took a liking to Cave Creek, and first time I called Rick, he talked to me for probably 20 minutes about you know, the setup and kind of what I want. Ordered the hammock, ordered the under quilt, top quilt, and just kind of went from there. Upgraded this Ponderosa tarp when he made the netting for me. Got the prototype of the net and kind of just went all out. Now I got the full Cave Creek setup. Couldn't be more happy. Um, and the other issue I had for hammock camping was where do I put my gear at night? When I'm sleeping, do I want my gear underneath me and when the water comes pouring in and getting my pack all soaked? Or do I hang it next to me and have my suspension hanging all funny? Uh, this solves that. Put it right in underneath in the corner. Um, got the tarp coverage. No water's getting in on the top. No water's getting in underneath. Um, keeps everything close. No critters, no bugs, no spiders. I don't know where all you guys live, but um, I ain't want spiders and bugs and centipedes and all that type of stuff crawling in. I've also heard people getting their shoes chewed up by squirrels and stuff like that at night because of the sweat. Um, this solves that. Um, so it's a complete setup to me. Um, I don't want to kind of upplay it a little too much here, um, but I love it. It's fantastic. I'm going to be coming out here once or twice a week just to lay out here with my dog in the winter. Um, I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, just listening to the snow hit the tarp, little flakes coming down. Hopefully I get to lay here tonight and watch it kind of soak up from, you know, a half inch to an inch to two inches before it gets fully dark. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the back of the tarp as well if you guys are interested in more of the Cave Creek stuff. Okay. Alright guys, so here is the back of the Ponderosa tarp, my Cave Creek. Um, I got the uh, tarp skins, fantastic way to get everything all tidied up and easy, quick access like today. Um, Tightened up the ridge line, put it up, pulled the skins out, put the lines out, didn't take long at all. Um, and you got snow bearing down like this, it ain't very much fun to be sitting in a hammock without full coverage and some room underneath. Um, this tarp is fantastic. It's got the full three tiles on the straight line of the bottom of the tarp, two middle wall tie outs, and the doors with um, Beastie D's on the bottom. Um, I think this is going to be great in those days here in Minnesota where it's 5, 10 degrees out and the wind's blowing 15, 20, degree, 20 miles an hour and you got negative 10, negative 15 wind chill. Uh, those are days you do not want to be outside if you don't have some type of coverage to block the wind. Now I can come out here, full wind blockage, full snow blockage, hang out with my dog, secure him. Um, Obviously he's got some fur, but I didn't want him just sitting out in the cold the whole time. This blocks the wind from the bottom if I batten it down all the way and keeps that wind blowing in. And when you get that tub wall tightened up, um, it gives him a little extra wind barrier for him. This is the time in the winter he's going to be laying in the hammock with me. He's like a little mini heater for me. Um, my 30 degree Cave Creek quilt doesn't quite cut it when it's zero degrees. Um, I added some DIY Costco quilts to my um, collection for myself, um, but he's like a mini heater, it's great.